up and just let the band come up. So if you'll put your hands together, I think Kevin Buckley and friends will take the stage. Hello. Uh, put your hands together for Dave Stein over there. Thanks, Dave. <clears throat> So uh, today, or tonight, we're going to play uh, the album Big Spring in its entirety. And I'm going to start off here with a, uh, a song that was written by a guy named Andy Irvine. Does anybody know Andy Irvine? Oh, yeah. Right? And uh, he wrote this about a guy named Woody Guthrie. Does anybody know Woody Guthrie? <laughs> so we'll do this for you. It's called Never Tire the Road. <laughs> Town country boy when I left that dusty town. Route 66 through the westward, and I took an old freight down. California, here I come. By the side door, pumping in the sun, burnt thumb. They call the Sokies low down bums. The police on us frown. Never tire of the road, never tire of the rolling wheel, never tire of the ways of the world. Way out yonder is a calling me In the dark road leads me onward Highway, that's my code Lonesome voice I heard in my head said Never tire of the road California to the New York Island Me and my guitar Played in many's a hobo jungle Many's a skid row bar Some whistle is a sweet refrain when you're waiting for some old freight train that carries an empty car. Never tire of the road, never tire of the rolling wheel, never tire on the ways of the world. Way out yonder's a calling me, and the dark road leads me onward. Highway that's my code. Lord, some voice that I heard in my head said, Never tire of the road. Shipped on board a Liberty ship, sail the ocean blue. They were carrying guns and TNT and D Day soldiers, too. Frisco, Jimmy, Longy, and me And our song went out across the sea You're bound to lose, you fascist bound to lose Surprise, dirty smile of the politician, the man with the greed in his eyes. One big union, that's our plan. The IWW's your only man, and the flames of discontent will fan. For the cause never dies. Never tire of the road, never tire of the rolling wheel, never tire of the ways of the world. Way out yonder's a calling me And the dark road leads me onwards Highway, that's my code Lonesome voice that I heard in my head said 
never tire of the road. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's get some people up here. We're gonna, who, who's coming up here first? Dan. There he is. Dan Lowry, everybody. And uh, well, we got uh, Alan Murray over here. And then we've got Emer Arkins. And Eileen Gannon. How you guys doing out there? Okay, good. So, just so that we're all on the same page here, the format um, this evening, we're we're gonna play we're gonna play the album, and um, then we've got a, cu a couple little treats for you at the end. But we're gonna play one kind of big set here. So we're not gonna do like the the we're not gonna play it for 45 and then take a break because if we do that, then um, you might never see us again. <laughs> so um, just be warned, and if you need to uh, move around or whatever during the set, feel free to do so. Um, so we'll play this tune. It's called Sweeney's Wheel, and this is a piece of music composed by a great accordion player named Jackie Daly, who might have played here before. I don't know. Um, McGurk's a focal point. And uh, he wrote this tune. I think um, I, I, it has something to do with some character uh, where he was from or where he lived, a guy named Sweeney. And he, he had some sort of uh, this kind of perpetual motion kind of uh, concept that um, I, I believe that was kind of inspired this, this tune here. So we'll play Sweeney's Wheel. <clears throat>
Well, thank you very much. All right, we're gonna get um, we're gonna get John Ferber up here right now. Put your hands together for John Ferber. Hey, you got enough room? That work? Well, um, this this next tune is called Rider's Block, and. Uh, Spelled R Y D E R. Ryder is my dog's name. And during the uh, during our lockdown time, I was uh, working on this record and trying to. I wanted to have at least one original tune to play, to put on the record. And um, I would be walking Ryder around the block and trying to think of a tune. And uh, I came up with this melody and a very bad pun as well to go with it.
Thank you. Getting sweaty. <clears throat> well, we're gonna feature we're gonna feature Eileen here on this next piece, and um, this is a this is um, an arrangement that's been named La Rubia, and uh, it's based on an old Irish air called the Coolin. And um, it's got a little, it's, it's, it's roughly based on the Kulin. There's a little um, kind of a Mexican string band element that we've added to it. Uh, as well as um, maybe a little Beethoven. I don't know. But <laughs> we're going we're gonna to feature, Eileen is actually going to play a bit of the the, the original piece um, during the tune here so you can kind of hear where it came from. Get an idea. Do you like it so far? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. 
I'll take that. All right, thank you very much. Uh, put your hands together for Eileen Gannon. That's kind of a chipper tune. Um, so we'll now bring you to the depths of despair. This. I always have troubles, a trouble um, introducing this song because um, I, I don't want to sound flippant. But uh, it's, a, it's a song about a, 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 some sort of military officer type person. And um, he uh, kind of takes advantage of a young woman and uh, she kills herself. And her ghost comes to visit him to kind of guilt him. And um, he ends up kind of uh, paying her off basically. Um, and, and it's kind of like a fever dream and he wakes up and he feels a lot better after that, and then he just goes out in the town and just starts doing his old, old business again, and then the song ends. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. No need to sing it, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can move on. I think, I, I think that's pretty much it. So usually, uh, I think the Kingston Trio maybe did this song at some point. Um, and I've heard other versions of it, and it's usually kind of, it's in a major key, and it's kind of up and kind of silly, kind of naughty, a little silly song, which um, is absurd, I think. So we, uh, we just, we kind of rearrange it a little bit so it suits the subject matter a little better. <clears throat> From Halifax, who dwelt in country quarters, seduced a maid who hung herself one morning in her garters. But his conscience smited him, he lost his stomach daily. Took to drinking red fear, thought about Miss Bay. One night at times he went to bed For he had caught a fever Says he, I am a handsome man I'm a bold deceiver His candle just at twelve o'clock Began to burn quite pale He stepped up to his bedside Good night to you, Miss Annie cried. Your face looks white and mealy. Dear Captain Smith, the ghost replied, You've used me ungenteely. The corner's quest goes hard with me because I've acted free. won't bury me oh, I am dead Miss Captain 
Smith, the ghost replied, you use me on gently. The Cornish quest goes hard with me because I've acted freely. Parson Biggs won't bury me. Oh, I am dead, Miss Bailey. Captain, he got out of bed, his fever now departed. His appetite being keen again, from town he quickly started. He ordered beef and mutton too, as once he used to daily. He eyed the pretty ladies in. Got about Miss Bailey. Everybody feel good? We, did we make it through that? Okay, good. Well, uh, I think John and I are gonna play a couple tunes here. John Ferber, everybody. Woo! <clears throat> we'll, do, uh, we'll do a couple tunes here. These are, um, this first tune, I think is a, maybe a Scottish type tune. It's called The Banks. Um, and we'll follow that up with I, I believe it's an American tune with, with, with a name. It, it's called The City of Savannah. So, uh, and I believe it was written by a, a great composer of early fiddle tunes named Frank Livingston. So uh, we'll give these a whirl. <clears throat> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thanks for waiting for that last word. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have proceeded without you. Um, all right, we'll do... Uh, this is another um, uh, tune from the, from the album, obviously. This is a great uh, waltz called Marcel E. Marcel. And uh, Marcel spelled with two L's. Well, whatever. Mar spelled, <laughs> Marcel spelled two different ways. And I, I wrote to the composer, um, and he wrote this tune for his parents, who were both named Marcel. So here we go. <clears throat> okay. We do, uh, we do have some CDs for sale back there. Also, if anybody feels so inclined, uh, we have some little posters for sale as well. These were, um, these were, uh, this is a kind of handmade collage thing made by Jess Atkins, and she plays in a lot of bands around town, very talented. And she also did the uh, stop motion video for the Bells of St. Louis. If you guys haven't checked that out. It's pretty cool. If you like South Park, I think uh, you'll get it. Okay. Eric, 
Mark, I'm just gonna play. This is a different fiddle. I'll just I'll just use the vocal mic, okay? Right. So I've got my uh, fiddle tuned down a whole step here, much to the frustration of all the other instruments as they have to, uh, <laughs> they've got to like, accommodate me on this. So this first tune is called Hardy Man the Fiddler. And then we're going to play a couple jigs after that. Um, the first one is called The Queen of the Rushes, and the second tune is called The Cook in the Kitchen. And um, I've got the, the, the fiddle tuned down just to evoke um, kind of the sound of the Elan pipes. Um, and uh, I, I, I played these tunes with my dad a lot, so uh, these, these tunes remind me of, uh, of Jack. So uh, we'll send this out to, to Jack Buckley. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, folks. We need a string count up here. How many strings we got? String count. <laughs> Make sure they're all here. Nobody left behind. <laughs> well, well, we'll do this song here. This is a song called The Blackest Crow. Is anybody familiar with this song? Okay. Two people. This is a, it's a widely performed and recorded song in the folk tradition. It's got a couple other names too. Um, can't think of them right now, but it's, it's around, it's out there. And this particular version, um, <laughs> it's my turn to try to do this. They're never really in tune, are they? No. No. no, they're not. This is too much going on. Too many strings. Um, this particular version I got from Kim and Jim, Jim Lansford. Anybody? Yes. Okay, same two people. <laughs> uh, so um, they've got a bunch of records out, and I got to, I've had the privilege of a, um, kind of jamming with them a few times, and um, this is their version of The Blackest Crow. And um, Kim was very helpful. Um, I just asked for some information. She told me um, this, is, this is just kind of a Ozark version of this tune, of this song, rather. So uh, we'll give it a whirl here. <laughs> The 
black as coal My dearest dear Will surely turn to white If ever I Prove false to you Bright day shall turn to night Bright day shall turn to night True love The element shall mourn If ever I Prove false to you The rugged sea shall burn Time draws me, my dearest dear, when you and I shall part the grief and mourn. You soon must know of my poor troubled heart. It makes me think when you're Well, thank you very much. I'll put your hands together for Emer and Dan singing with me on that one. Thank you. Well, speaking of Dan here, he's gonna he's gonna grab. A, we're gonna ch we're gonna get in. We're gonna get one non-string instrument going here. <laughs> we're gonna do a tune called "The Bells of St. Louis." I chose to spell it B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. but I don't know what the proper spelling is. This one's for the ladies. So we'll play the Bells of St. Louis and uh, we'll go straight into the last set on the record, which will conclude our program, as it were. We've got a few other things to play for you. So um, here we go. Uh, the, these next two tunes following Bells of St. Louis are Ships Are Sailing and um, I don't know what the last one's called. Do you know? Langton's. Langton's real. Thank you. 
books? Would you like to hear a few more things? But, well, we got you here. Um, I think maybe we'll, um, we'll feature Alan Murray. Folks, put your hands together for Alan Murray. Hello there. What you got, Alan, for these fine people? Uh, we're going to do a little Richard Thompson song here. It's an old one from uh, just after his Fairport Convention days. He put out an album called Henry the F Human Fly. And uh, this is uh, one of the bitter songs on the album. He's quite the, quite the man for writing kind of sad, bitter songs. So. It's a song called The Poor Ditchin' Boy. Um, basically about a young fella, he's feeling very um, taken advantage of by the, the love of his life, I think. Oh. We've all been there. <laughs> Some of you might be there tonight. I thought I no was slacking, done. No Kevin. I thought I was done, man. Punched out your card for the night. The 
Thank you, Alan. Now uh, we're going to feature John Ferber here. Please put your hands together for John here. Back just a little bit. Uh, this is a tune called uh, Russian Lullaby. I believe written by Irving Berlin. And it's actually in the key of D minor, which is unlike. Our first D minor of the evening. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> I stole this version from Oscar Aleman. Every night you can hear her croon, the Russian lullaby Just a plaintive little tune for when baby starts to cry rock a -bye, my baby Somewhere there may be a land that's free for you and me The Russian lullaby Your turn. <laughs> Folks, uh, Emer Arkins, everybody. Thank you. Uh, well, when Kevin asked me to sing a song, I thought there was no more of an obvious choice when on stage with four men than a song about how you shouldn't trust any of them. <clears throat> right, right. <laughs> so this, yeah, that's fair. this is a, a song that's been recorded by lots of different people with different musical backgrounds and it's been recorded under many different names but it's one of my favorites and it's called Fair and Tender Ladies. sung with this much accompaniment before, so we'll see how it goes. Don't get your 
hope so. <laughs> oh, don't worry. They're not very high. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> um, I have a request, actually. Um, let, let's let, let's diverge for, for a moment here. Um, 
because I don't get to um, play with this lineup very often in this configuration. So uh, oh, let's have another blast at something. We're going to have take two on Sweeney's wheel. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Like it. Yeah. I wasn't warmed up yet when you know this first time. <laughs> Any, anything else you guys want to hear again? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's Kevin's nice way of saying we don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be different. It'll be different. <laughs> You guys doing okay out there? You, you, you okay with this? Okay. You can just start walking out if it's too much. Yeah, let's do it. Take two. Take two. All right. Um, we'll um, we're get, okay. We'll do one last set of tunes here, and then uh, we'll let you guys go. So thank you so much. Please put your hands together for Eileen Gannon. Keep it going for Alan Murray, Emer Arkins, Dan Lowry, John Ferber, and Kevin Buckley. Thank you very much. So uh, we'll, we'll end this 
with a big old rake of tunes here, some uh, some dance tunes for you. So here we go. So G A minor D mix. <clears throat> noise. <laughs> Thank you. 